me say a little bit about the history of the labyrinth, first of all. The, the uh, shark style labyrinth is uh, a design that we know developed in Christian manuscripts around the 6th century. And then it was referred to in the 9th century again. And then by the early 13th century, Shark Cathedral had placed the labyrinth in the floor of their cathedral. The closest date, according to the Australian architect John James, dates it at 1201. It was put in the floor um, like many cathedrals did in that time. In fact, of the 80 cathedrals that went up during the uh, flowering of the Middle Ages, 23 of them had labyrinths. So this just isn't something that Shark Cathedral did, some kind of crazy New Agey kind of thing. It's actually something that many of the cathedrals did uh, in the Middle Ages. Sadly, only two remain in their original form, a Shark and a St. Quentin, which is a church in France as well, but it's very much damaged. But Shark Cathedral is in fairly good shape after all these centuries. Uh, there's a third one in Amiens Cathedral in north uh, of Paris, about two hours by train, and that's been reconstituted. It's actually ripped up in 1824 and then replaced in 1895. It's probably ripped up because the floors wore out. And that's one of the unique things about Shark Cathedral is that the both quarry stone hardened over the ages. It didn't wear out, it hardened, unlike the other cathedrals, and that's why the labyrinth is in its original form. Now, why were labyrinths in these European Gothic cathedrals? The officials of Chart uh, confirmed that one of the ways of um, teaching people about uh, the journey to God was to use the labyrinth. Don't forget, in Gothic cathedrals, nothing is for decoration. All the stained glass windows tell certainly the Christian story, usually the local uh, murals along the cathedral. And if you go to Grace Cathedral in San Francisco, where all of this started in 1991, you can see very clear murals telling the story of the earthquake and the fire in 1906 and all. But uh, don't forget, in the 1200s, uh, the people were illiterate. Very few people read. Lawyers, yes. Uh, priests, yes. But peasants and merchants and all were uh, not able to read at that time. So the labyrinth was a way of teaching about the journey. Uh, in those days, you would say the teaching about the journey to God. Uh, we indeed embrace that as well. Sometimes people might use the word center, uh, finding your way to center. So you're grounded. So you're there in a non-anxious presence in 